Hey, this is Patrick Durkin from the Wellness Enterprise coming to you from Gilroy, California from a uh, pomegranate field. And um, you know, normally I'm not much of an agriculture guy, but uh, I've learned some stuff today that's so amazing. I just got to make a video for you. By the way, I apologize for the noise. I wasn't planning on recording today. There's a lot of wind. Please bear with me. There's some important stuff in this video. So what we have here is a pomegranate plant. And if you take a look and look at the leaves, what you'll notice is that you basically have a plant that looks like it would be dead, which makes sense. This land was taken care of by somebody who didn't understand water, and the pH of the water coming out of the well is 8.4, and last year there were a lot of plants just like this one dying. If we look at this one this spring, it's, it's June, mid-June right now, and you have really bright green leaves here, and what that tells you is there's no nutrient deficiency in this plant. So this plant, which should be dead, is coming back to life. Now, come with me for a second and come over here. Look at this one. This one's really coming back to life, right? Look at all the dark green. And now I'm gonna go for a little walk here and um, show you some of the yellow that was on all the plants last season and early this season, and then show you more of the dark green, come on. Okay, so we went for a little walk there because I wanted to show you this plant. Now, this plant right here, if you look here, this is, this is dead and the whole thing was dying. And what's happened is uh, Joseph Johnson, who invented the Aqua Energizers, takes care of this property. And when he came in in the fall, he put Aqua Energizer water on these plants. And what's happening now is come on down here and look down this row. Take a look down the middle of the row and notice there's yellow edges on every plant, right? All these pomegranate plants were dying. And now turn back here to this plant. You still have a little bit of the yellow. You see it out here, but the plant from the inside out, the green, the deep dark green that says there's no micronutrient deficiency is coming from the inside of the plant. And then check this out. This is a pomegranate. Look how far advanced it is, right? And then look here at this one. And then there's more up there and up there, but the plant's putting out a whole nother set of flowers. So it's gonna be um, blooming and producing all year long. So what we've got is plants that were all yellow, nutrient deficient, dying. We changed the water. The, the source water here is a really tough 8.4 pH. And just by changing the water, flowing it over uh, through our copper, with our crystals and our ormus, we've got plants that are acting completely differently. This is just amazing. The information here, you just gotta see it. Look at these plants. Clearly they were dying. Look at this. This is brutal. Completely dead. And yet the plant is coming back and look how green it is. So over there where I first showed you, those plants for the whole orchard, it's estimated that you need about 800,000 gallons for the entire season. That part of the, the orchard that I showed you first is running on a rate of approximately 25% of that is expected to use about 230,000 gallons instead of 800,000 gallons. This part of the orchard was just for a very short period of time amped up and given half of the normal water recommendation. So if it had stayed at that level, it would be like on the pace for 400,000 gallons in the year, but they just did it for a couple of days here. And look at these plants. They're so vibrant and alive. It is, it is astounding. So what we're seeing is massive water efficiency, nutrient uptake, living plants producing living food. That's what we all need.